The slide rails used in this video may also be used with the 3550M4 and the 3650M4. The 3750M4 used in this video uses a 2U cable management arm, while the 3550M4 uses a 1U cable management arm. The 3650M4 can use either the 1U or 2U cable management arm. Both cable management arms are installed in the same way. Rack Installation Note: These slide rails can be installed in either square hole rack or round hole racks. This video will show installing in a square hole rack. Part 1 Items To install the server in the rack cabinet, you will need both the slide rail box and the cable management arm box. The rail box contents include left rail, right rail, and four M6 screws. The cable management arms box contents include cable management support bar, cable management support stop, and cable management arm assembly. And this video will be using a large capacity 2U arm assembly. However, a 1U large capacity arm assembly is also available and the installation method is exactly the same. Note: The hook and loop fasteners are located on the cable management arm. If any items are missing or damaged, contact the place where they were purchased. Part 2 Installation To install the server in the rack cabinet, complete the following steps. Identify the rack space for the system. Select an available 2U space for the server and install the slide rails in the bottom U of the 2U space. Open the front slide rail latch. If the slide rails are closed when you receive them, open the latches by pushing the blue button in and pushing the latch back. Open the rear slide rail hooks. Pull the rear bracket all the way back until the rear latches open by pulling away from the rail. Each rail is marked with either left front or right front. Install the rear end of the slide rails. From the front of the rack, line up the two pins on the rear of the slide rail in the lower U of the selected 2U on the rear of the rack. Push the rails so that the pins go into the holes and slide the rails into the rack to lock the rear of the slide rails into the rack. Align the front of the slide rails to the rack. Pull the slide rails forward and locate the front latches in the appropriate U spaces in front of the rack EIA rails. Make sure that the front end is being rotated into position with the front latch in front of the EIA rail of the rack. Install the front end of the slide rails. Press the blue button to close the bracket with the pins. Move the slide rail up and down to ensure the rail is fully engaged in the rack. Repeat steps 1 through 5 to install the other rail into the rack. Make sure that each front latch is fully engaged. If installing in a square hole rack, move the front of the rail up and down slightly to ensure that it is fully engaged. Install the server on the slide rails. Note, it is important to use safe practices. Use two people while lifting the server. In addition, it is important to support the back of the system during installation. Pull the slide rails forward until they click into place. Carefully lift the server and tilt it into position over the slide rails so that the rear nail heads on the server line up with two slots in the slide rails. Lower the server down until the rear nail heads slip into the two rear slots. Then slowly lower the front server until the other nail heads go into the other slots on the slide rails. By hearing the click indicates the server is secure. Make sure the front latch covers the front nail head so the system is secure to the slide rails. Slide the server into the rack. Lift the locker levers on the slide rails. Push the server all the way into the rack until it clicks into place. Install the cable management support arm. The cable management arm can be installed on either side of the server. The first part of the video will show it being installed on the left side. Install the cable management arm on the left rear side of the server. Connect one end of the support arm to the same slide rail to which you plan to attach the cable management arm so that you can swing the other end of the support arm toward the rack. Connect the cable management support arm to the stop bracket. Connect the stop bracket to the slide rail. 
Note, the capital letters I and O are printed on the cable management arm pins to identify the inside and outside pins. Install the cable management stop bracket with capital letter O on the unattached end of the support arm. Make sure that the support arm is securely installed. Install the cable management arm. Then slide the cable management arm tabs into both the inside and the outside slots of the slide rail. Push the tabs until they snap into place. Note, close the cable management support stop bracket. You can open the stop bracket by pushing the tabs above and below the cable management support stop bracket for closing it. This will make it easier to rotate the cable management arm on and off the cable management support arms. Routing cables to the cable management arm. This picture demonstrates how to route cables through the hook and loop fasteners on the cable management arm. Note, ensure that you have enough slack so that when the system is pulled out of the rack, the cables do not have too much tension in them. You have now completed this rack installation video.